Hello and welcome to today's workshop. There are four workshops which are not directly connected. They're completely independent from one another. These will help you to quickly understand and build your personal business. After we have already talked about contacts and phoning correctly in workshop A, today's topic is also a very important one. How do I help the newcomers? The first step is in our business. A very important part of our workshop series because the partner, your new business partner, puts their trust in you. That is why you should actively support and not overwhelm them. This is why we are talking about what the best steps are and the best way to lead your partner to success today. If I have won a new business partner for my organization, I immediately initiate a follow-up conversation with him within the next two days. Then I once more congratulate him on his decision and assure him of my full support again. This is very important as the great death in network marketing, buyer's remorse, takes place in the first 72 hours. If the business partner encounters his environment, is confronted with objections and becomes confused, simply remember how you start, how you felt. Everything is still new. They don't earn much and they cannot explain the business properly yet. It is now your task to take your new partner under your wing and to guide him or her through these first two months. Then the business forms. He can explain and argue it and earn his own money. I give him my login details so that even in my absence, he can inform himself about certain things in advance. He should take a look at the schooling and presentations again, in peace, at home, and he can learn more at the same time. At some point, I become very calm, focused, and try to find out what are his goals and dreams. It doesn't always have to be about money or material things that drive people, but it may be the goal of having enough time for a family or building up a career. He strives for companionship or simply recognition. Listen to your partner attentively. Find out what drives him. Many attend a motivational event and leave motivated. But many confuse motivation with euphoria. I can also get euphoria, you know, the good feeling, by watching a nice movie at the cinema. Motivation, on the other hand, could never advance. Motivation always comes from you. You cannot motivate your partner in the long run. He or she needs a goal. This is what drives them. If his goal is important enough, he will not give up. The motive is crucial. The translation for motive, if we look it up in the dictionary, is motivation. And here is the problem of having to be ready to affect something. It is an issue for many people. Success is always a highly individual matter. Success happens because something happens. There are two reasons why man moves. Simply put, the first reason is fear. And this is a very bad companion, as fear paralyzes. We know this from many stories. He was rigid with fear. The second reason, a far better one, is to have a goal. Many people have goals either to do or to not do something, but that is precisely why it is so important to know the exact goal and motivation of your new partner. Because in order not to waste your time, you need to know what your new business partner wants. Because only then can you tell him or her what it means to do it. You must show him the way and destroy the illusion that they can get rich by doing nothing or finding other hard-working people. Never promise fast and easy money, for the disappointments will soon follow. Your task is to support your new partner in achieving their personal goals, to make him successful. That's why I am talking with you today. Talk to your partner about his personal goal, what he is willing to do for it, and write down your mutual goal together. A goal needs to be realistic and not utopian. It must be achievable with effort, as well as limited in time and clearly defined. Just to say, yes, I want to be rich one day, <laughs> that is clearly not enough. Many people are afraid to set themselves a goal because they might fail. But there is no problem in failing if you have been given everything. You cannot make mistakes. We were already taught this in school because if we came home with bad grades, there were usually problems. So we learned not to make mistakes. But that is absolute nonsense, as only through mistakes can one learn, improve, and grow. The sad thing is that many companies are filled with people who are afraid to make mistakes. It is not bad to set goals and fail. The main thing is that we have done everything to achieve it, through which we have not only improved, but also moved. And only that counts. It is better to aim the spear at the moon and hit the eagle than to aim at the eagle and hit the sparrow, or even aim at the sparrow and possibly hit it. Take your partner's fear of failing away. 
Whenever questions arise, try to answer them immediately because stupid questions do not exist, only stupid people who don't ask. Give him or her courage through stories from your beginnings because after all, you didn't understand everything at the first presentation. Take the newcomer's fear of failure and you too will be successful. This is our business. For that purpose, it is very important that he knows right from the start how he moves best in the online office. It is best that he starts his first steps with your account, and here too, a trust base will be built. Always support the lifeline of your partner. According to the motto, support through demanding. With all these activities, you are only to go so far that only you support and not begin to take over the work of your new partner, just because he is still uncertain. Make sure you and your team partner attend events, because decisions are not made at home, but in the crowd with your colleagues. The new one should see that he is not alone with his activity, but a whole group pulls together. Then, of course, it is up to you. Time is everything in our business. We do not have time to loiter, because if we don't operate in the market, others will. And others will optimize your time. It should be your goal to make the new partner independent as quickly as possible through direct personal coaching and the use of the mass. Only support those who really want it, the people who you feel the spark with from the first moment. Our task is not to make people successful, but to find and promote successful people. Always be a role model, because Lifeline always takes care of you. Never give up things that made you successful. From a certain point in time, you will still support your people, but in the end, you only care for them. Always pay attention to the fact that even if the market turns out to be bad, you are still doing the best you can in the business because your partners will notice this and follow behind. Never give up. Always new customers, always new business partners and provide this to your people. You must do it day and night. Don't waste time in situations that don't help you. You must be ready to live a life that nobody wants to have. There will be lots of blood, sweat and tears, but at the end of this path, you will be rewarded. After that, you can live a life that everyone wants to have. If your partner asks what the big goals are, there are two answers. Win customers and win business partners, because only in this way can the business grow in the long run. Only, how is this goal put into practice? Well, do not make it complicated, but as simple as possible. This also includes doing the same thing over and over again, and that, with the least possible effort, first create a basis. Finish the contact list to find people that want to hear your story, not just over the phone, but also in person. If you weren't able to convince, it's not that bad, but you have to immediately find a new person to possibly convince. These steps have to be repeated daily for several years until you can relax. The only one that can stop you on this way is yourself. Winston Churchill, a well-known Nobel laureate, has said many wise sentences during the course of his life, one of which was, deferment is the worst form of rejection. I have to be ready to do it now, and not only say, I will do my best, but rather, what is necessary. If my goal is strong enough, I will achieve it.